My name is Ira Smith, president of Ira Smith Trustee and Receiver Inc. First, the Ira Smith team hopes that you and your entire family remain safe, healthy, and secure during this coronavirus pandemic. I want to assure you that Ira Smith Trustee and Receiver Inc. has been and continues to be functional. Both Brandon Smith and myself are available at any time to answer any questions you may have, either about this blog or anything else at all. So please shoot us a message, give us a phone call. We would love to hear from you. Today, Brandon blog is titled Certificate of Appointment of Estate Trustee Rules Kick In Right After You Lose Someone Close to You. As Brandon has written before, in addition to doing insolvency work, we also act as an independent professional estate trustee through our affiliated business, Smith Estate Trustee Ontario. So I hope you can watch until the end of this video because I know you will get value from it. Today's branded blog is all about the rules relating to the appointment of an estate trustee and then how an estate trustee carries out its duties. So first, Brandon goes through a discussion of what is a certificate of appointment of a state trustee, which is part of the probate process. A portion of the estate or all the estate has to go through probate. The obtaining of the certificate is so that the estate trustee can show financial institutions or anyone else that they may have to transact business with, that they have that official capacity. He then goes through what does a certificate of appointment of a state trustee actually do? Then when is such a certificate needed? Is it needed all the time or just sometimes? And in Ontario, it's not mandatory all the time. And Brandon runs through why you may wish to get one. Then avoid common errors in applying for the certificate Brandon discusses and lists what some of those common errors are. He then discusses certain issues that are specific to applications for a certificate of appointment of a state trustee where there is a will in place for the deceased. Next, he then discusses certain issues that are specific to applications when there is no will in place for the deceased. The next section, I've been named an estate trustee in the will. What do I have to do now? And Brandon runs through some of the more common duties and responsibilities of an estate trustee. Brandon then answers a question that we are asked many times, is an estate trustee responsible for the debts of the estate? Then he goes on to discuss, does an estate trustee have to advertise for creditors of the estate and gives his thoughts on that? And then the final issue that is discussed, which is a common issue, how does an estate trustee make a payment from an estate to a child who is a beneficiary and goes through the issues involved in that. So I hope you will take the time to read the entire blog down below because I know you will find it informative. So again, the Ira Smith team hopes that you and your entire family remain safe, healthy and secure during this COVID-19 pandemic. Ira Smith Trustee and Receiver Inc. is fully operational. Both Brandon and myself are available anytime to discuss any issues that may be 
bothering you. We are available by telephone, email, or video meeting. So if you have any questions at all about this brand and blog or anything else at all, shoot us a message, give us a phone call. We would love to hear from you.